Just came back from vacation, didn't have time to watch it. Fair enough. Uh, we'll avoid talking about the show. It's hard. It's, um, yeah, it's dangerous to be on a stream or an online place where people constantly interact and talk and discuss everything from left to right and expect not to get spoiled about shows and things like that. Yeah, this is my first time playing uh, Japanese. Uh, Japanese. Oh, I don't even have, you don't even have wood for an archery range. Man, that's so awkward. That's super awkward, actually. Now, this Chinese opening is weird. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I used Chinese a lot in the previous Red Bull editions. So I felt like even though you don't have the extra villagers that you would have an arm, there's still such a solid sieve. Tech-wise, composition-wise, all their eco eco bonuses they can get and whatnot. So I wonder if they're still viable now. I mean, you start with extra vills, so in theory you you probably have more villagers still, right? Um. Even though you have idle TC for for a couple of seconds in the opening. So, yeah, I think I think they should still be a very viable. Pick, possibly. Let's do a second range since he is Ethiopians. Feels a bit risky to play one range. Didn't see his range though. It's a bit confusing. You know what? I'm a man of, ho of horse color. There was his range. He went double range. We need armor. ASAP. Uh, you feel like you struggle big time with sieves which open double range. That is kind of what the idea or impression I would have had. But I think you have to be defensive in the opening. With that in mind. Okay, but we know where his units are. So that's good. Yeah, we're mixing in a skirm or two. And if we have to transition to stable later, that's also fine, because we have a very good stable tech tree. Okay, I want to wall this side, because I don't want to get any nasty Ethiopian crossbow surprises. I think I want to chase this army down. He did do armor himself. Oh, all the wrong units. Uh, Stain, thanks for 100 stars. Sorry for the United loss. Guess Holland's a cheat code. He is indeed. That guy is crazy. House enough? Yeah, looks like it. Just made so many units, holy smokes. I have to just sit on this hill. I gotta zone off the hill a bit as well, so he cannot get easily jump on top of it. He's just trying to play brute force here. It's an interesting approach. Whether it's good or not is a different story. I don't think we need our... Scout in the action. Making his own skirms as well now. Eco is definitely awkward though. I feel like I'm lacking wood, for example. Let's find out if he didn't mark it. It's delirium approach. You consider this delirium approach? Brute force? It's a bit of a sloppy one on my end. I think he's overdoing it here. I don't care how fast your archers shoot, you cannot brute force against 
um, against the hill. Remix. I don't really have a choice but to stay a bit passive. That was a bad reaction by me. He's kind of gifting me a... Well, he was kind of gifting me a free kill. Let's drop his third range. I don't mind playing range in this fight. I'll just play... did mark it though. So his uptime might actually be scarier than we would have liked for it to be. I know he's got a great micro and all, but I feel like he's overdoing it. Like he's shooting himself in the foot here with these trades. But I, I think... He did definitely go market opening though. Like he sold sold resources to go up. I believe. Because otherwise there's no reason for him to have the market. So the fact that we have horse color and a competitive uptime here. Despite him being having used the market. Is possibly very good for us. I don't need... I can just go attack. This is still open. Oh, I don't want to show this. We'll use our reinforcements to defend. Oh, that's a risky one actually now. Looking at it. Oh, I don't have crossbow up on the way. Man, that crossbow change. Expensive AF. Oh, did he go back with everything? Yeah, we do have crossbow coming though. True, I don't have plus two armor. So this is a bit. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be a mistake by him. Question, do you double tap control group? I uh, use uh, control group and space. That combination. He has a really open map though, to be fair. So it, it kind of also makes sense that he has been playing this aggressively. It's really hard for him to secure this map, I would say. Should be fine. He okay, went for Mangano. Thing is, I can always add TC here, and I'll be I'll should have an equal lead. Auto scout. Game escalated quickly. Yep. Village is trapped. It's been a nice one though so far. But I still think he, he forced the issue a little bit too heavily. Unnecessarily. Let's say unnecessarily. Oh, that's actually a bit risky. I can argue that I'm the one who was out and about too much for my own good. Unnecessary army loss. Why do I have a villager there? Might give him a small comeback potential, the fact that I am... Um, He's playing one TC. He's got 
Knights as well now in the mix. So I'm playing a bit with fire here, with the way I'm playing this. Still open on the front. Like very vulnerable to knights just coming in. And a faulty gather point. Non-stop, by the looks of it. Is this open now? No, it's not. I don't understand where I have my gather point. Like, why are my villagers moving so far away? I don't think he has... What's the word? Ballistics? We know he has mangonels. So that might become a problem. Oh, that was open. <laughs> Mm. I guess it's me having a messed up base layout, actually. Uh, I think it's my fault. I cannot blame the pathing. Path Ooh. That could be dangerous. Just going for a counter-attack. Uh, oh shit. Could be good, could backfire. But since I do think I have a healthy eco lead, I think I can justify taking this risk. Let's say. Looks like he's actually falling back. So if we can now get a castle up to secure this hill area, uh, we are officially in a fantastic spot. Polar bear is so cute. <laughs> Agreed. He's gonna have to gonna have to respond to my counterattack, right? Looks like he's actually sending kind of everything back to deal with it. So maybe these mangonels are exposed. We can still ask ourselves, like, is he, is he actually playing one TC still? No castle there. Oh, he dodged it. Okay, we get that castle up, and then we're safe. I would imagine he has TCs at this point. Let's just go to the corner where we have a hill. Ooh. Maybe he's not pursuing me down there as I thought. What? Let's just do that. A lot of potential for taking damage now because we're fighting on so many different fronts. Guess he wants to build a, a castle. But I mean, in the end, he's chasing me. I'm happy with that. Doesn't look like he has noticed uh, that I'm chasing these yet. Oh no. Not the TC gather point again. Oh, 
My worst nightmare. My worst enemy. Why are my, is my catapult still there? Villagers! Guess we're gonna take that. Cheeky um, stone up there. That was a risky. Well, that's a lot of exposed eco. That is no surprise. He does have a sizable army, and late game I would say he probably has a favorable matchup with bomb cannons and such. But that's where I have to start forcing. Uh, I need to force. What's the word? Mobility to become an issue for him. Still no forecast though. Not yet. Still doesn't have plus two armor even. Okay, that's probably not going to be a valid spot. You probably want to cast there as well. Where are they on stand ground? No, not my secret base. I'm taking more damage than I would have liked. Let's not pretend otherwise. He has chemistry, so bomber cannons are a guarantee eventually. Do I still have the gather point issue? I think I do. Thirty-five idols. I might have a village lead, but he has uh, less idols for now. That much I can guarantee you. Not sure why he's going back. Maybe he thinks I have a lot of skirms ready to pounce. Armor cannon. Where's my empty C? Don't actually know where it is. We're imps, so it doesn't really matter. Arb's expensive upgrade now. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna do Arb list. Skirmishers and some cavalry units is my my gameplay right now. to migrate a lot of ecos so it's gonna take some time for me to be up and running unfortunately i think he's doing a right decision though he's targeting my town centers he's not going for my castles right away i think that is a correct assessment of the situation but that also means he's leaving the hill right now Oh, 
run. Peasants. Still have a full pop though. Okay, he's gonna lose this army. I have a castle there. Yeah, I think it's over now. Might sound weird. But I feel like it's probably over now. I say that with very much confidence considering that situation. <laughs> If we translate now all these the extra surplus of wood we have now to farmers, then it's over, okay? Oh, there's some minion there. I say it's over and the score is closer than it's ever been. <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like I have full control of the game. Now you might disagree, but how I feel is my 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 business. Okay, could argue that as well. Even though he's killed a lot of my uh, town centers, he hasn't actually like killed much of my village account. Mm, that could be a little bit annoying. I wonder if he has um, horse and engines. Unlikely, right? That should be a cleanup. You got a Kazva Vista reduction? Yeah, of course. I have two relics. He will have three, probably. I will have three. The thing is, his army composition now is just too easy for me to counter. With, as long as I have skirms. And I am the one who has mobility as well. This part ever got raided though, that could be annoying. A lot of farming area here. Yeah, he just knows. Like he had that one push kinda like where he kinda had to secure a game winning lead. Uh he obviously I lost three TCs, a lot of remaneuvering of villagers. But um I still had enough of a buffer to get out the units I needed. You could argue even dove too deep here. He could have backed off. Like, after being here, he could have backed off with the army and maybe regrouped with whatever else he has. But yeah, his eco should also be in a worse state. But again, I think he over overdid it in Feudal Age, even. Like, the aggression. You can probably out-micro a lot of players in that situation. But I think for, like, knocking your head against the wall uphill against Skirms, it feels like a little bit... You can have as much good micro as you want. You're not going to win those fights. Uh, yeah, we have roughly double his almost double his villagers as he goes imp. Population in the imp is quite similar, I think, but he, his composition and mobility and lack of lack of mobility thereof is too much. Got good ca good map position as well. Castle secure our whole eco. And yeah, he doesn't have mobility. 